You ain't never seen nobody like this. Leave a nigga hanging like my name Cliff. Rap my career, but I change my shit. I attack like bears, you get jacked like bear. Other words, I'ma try to get it popping like Chris. No long beard, but terror on my wrist. Gonna blow up like female siblings. Guess you could tell them that I sis. Yeah, yeah, see me coming like psychic. So now would you wanna get your psychic? I'm gonna sell high IQ. Got lots of change all in my drip. Handle that like management. I leave a mannequinic and I damage an invader like I'm lashing on an anakin. Organic when I'm chatting. What would happen when you lacking is a mac and take you to a new world like Jasmine and Aladdin. But my money get tripping like water. Dropping out one and I get it. I got my money in line with the queen. Roy to making the credit. Hey guys, what's going on? It's your boy Darnell Bradley back at y'all with another video and today we've got the man Samaj Savage He's on you it's good know, with it. Hey, you know, he was a contestant in uh, the KSI Pop-in challenge and then went on to do the top 13 pop and cypher which we, we saw him which was dope as hell you, you 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 killed that shit, bro, bro. Thank you. Thank you my brother. Thank you like Damn, that that was dope. That was dope. But before before we get into to, to all that, just want to what, what what like what got you into this? Like what got you into doing this this music thing? Like where it come from for you? Uh, honestly, uh, like my mom told me that music always was in me. As far as, like she said, my childhood when I was like two years old, there was a Tupac song that she had on CD that was playing on the radio, and the curses were obviously not there for radio sake. And she said, like, I took on it. I said, like, this is the wrong version of the song. Like, something wrong with this. So, like, I guess I've always been really, really listening in. But, yeah. Uh, yeah, I started producing when I was, like, eight years old. Wrote my first rap when I was, like, ten. And then I started taking rap seriously, though, like, for myself. When I decided when that I felt like I wanted to, uh, I had something that was worthy putting out to the world, you know, when I was, like, 17. Yeah. Cool. All right. So, you said you, put, you, you started putting stuff out when you were, like, 17, but you haven't been working on it for a while. Cool, cool, yeah, well, definitely, yeah. definitely, man. Yeah, because I've I checked out the profile, I seen some of the hits. We 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 gonna get into it. We gonna get into it. I looked into it, man. I gotta talk to you about <laughs> OMG. <laughs> uh yeah, that, for sure. <laughs> that was good. That was good. But um when it came to the popping challenge, like how'd you hear about it? Was you watching KSI's channel? Like somebody come to you about it? Like how'd you how'd you catch wind of that? Uh I actually I wanna give like mad like praise and love to my boy uh Intensify Charts. Okay. He literally is the only reason that I did it. I, w I wasn't going to do it. It's not like I had this interest in it. I just didn't have time. So I was mm -hmm. just like, uh, you know, I I'll get to it when I get to it. And he was like, yo, you have to get it done today. Today is like probably going to be the last day. You might miss the deadline. Okay. And I don't know if you saw like the KSI video where he did uh, end up choosing me, but it was literally after the whole video, like after the, hey, please like and subscribe. Oh, you're right. No, no, like, you're right. You're right. Over. Yeah. Yeah. So. I was like this close to just not doing it, and by the grace of God, I, w I did it, and it's been working out for me ever since. Even if I didn't win, you know, like with the whole cyber thing, definitely brought a lot more attention to me. So I appreciate this. Oh hell yeah, definitely. And thank definitely. you, Attentify Charts. Subscribe to him too. <laughs> <laughs> definitely, you're going. Everybody, everybody want everybody get their love. Everybody get their love. Um, mm -hmm. but yeah, you said it's doing, it's doing big things. He's doing, doing things for you in a big way. That's cool. It looks like you got you got you got a lot of dubs coming your way. I said, "What you just you just uh, proposed?" Oh yeah, 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 yeah. I, I didn't even know how you knew that. Oh, you follow me on Instagram now. I'm yeah, tripping. social media. But, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um. Yeah. I I I did I did maybe about like three months ago, three or four months ago now. Wait, what are we what are we in the fourth month? Yeah, yeah, about four months ago. Ooh, man! Congratulations, <laughs> man. That's a big one. Thank you. That's Thank a big you. one. Congratulations. Yeah. Definitely. Glad, glad, glad. Find something word. people spend their whole lives looking for. Definitely respect yeah. that. Yeah, but, word, um, bro. Definitely blessed. So Intensify Charts um, hit you into this, and he said it was the last day for you to enter? He said it could be. He said okay. that he reacted to, like, a first the first group of people already. You never know when he's going to drop the video and how far ahead he records and stuff. So, mm -hmm. yeah. Okay. Cool. So, like, how long, how long did it take you to put it all together? Like, for the for the video like to write and like to do everything like where'd you get your like did you find a beat or did you get one made like oh sorry pff, what am i talking about sorry but like <laughs> as far as uh recording i was thinking um some other shit for half a second my bad i've never Not done cool. this before <laughs> <laughs> it's totally fine bro you're doing great um how did i i actually it's, it's so crazy i have not said this anywhere else right mm. but i did not put what I felt like was my absolute best effort into it. And that's because I have a terrible negative attitude about competitions. Because okay. as many competitions as I've been, been in, as many times that I've done different things, shout out to my boy Dizzy8, he can attest to this. Um, 
I personally have never won anything. So I kind of okay. went in thinking like, screw it, I'm just going to do this. Hopefully he reacts to it and I get like a little bit of, you know, a little, little smidge of the clout from it. But uh, um, it went way crazier than I ever thought it could. And it just, it taught me, you know, never to not believe in myself. Because maybe if I would have went that extra mile and went a little bit harder, mm-hmm. I could have won. I feel you. I I understand 100% what you're talking about as far as like these competitions and stuff. Like I even put in one, but mm-hmm. I did it wrong. I didn't make a video. <laughs> I don't even know if no. it's been seen, but like, yeah, nah, bro, bro. It was it was dope that you got picked. It was really dope. It was really dope. Let me see what we got right. down here. Um. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Cause I I don't know. I've seen, I've been watching a lot of stuff as far as uh, like how rappers put things together. Like how long did it take you top to bottom to write your like to write your uh, popping verse for uh, for the challenge? Um, for the challenge, it probably took me about like, hmm, maybe about like a half an hour to an hour, but it was only thirty seconds. So like, yeah, yeah, you yeah. Know, mm, yeah. No, I got, I got you. I know it wasn't gonna be like no super, super duper lengthy writing, but you know, yeah. people's just curious. People's just curious. We here, we got questions. We all got questions. To be honest, so, I was surprised when I hit you up. I was like, oh shit, he got back to me. All right, now I got to plan <laughs> shit. <laughs> <laughs> no, nah, I try my best to like respond to every person that I possibly can, bro. Hey, I appreciate it. I appreciate it because I had I had fun reacting to all y'all stuff. That was just, that was something else. Because I'm you I'm were newer. Mad hilarious, bro. Oh. Like I'm sorry, sorry to interrupt, but like I really commend you on on your reaction. You were mad hilarious. You had me and my girl dying. There was about like three or four different reactions that had mm-hmm. us like really like tearing up, laughing, and one of them was yours. Thank you, thank you. I appreciate. It. I try hard. Exactly. I try hard because I do definitely ent- was entertained hearing you spit and also going through your channel. Like, oh shit, okay. <laughs> okay, bro. The the wordplay. The, the oh my god, how you set up the lines, bro. I respect mm-hmm. it. You know that's what that's what we like to see out here. We Thank like to you, see bro. like I call it I call it lyrical comprehension. You know how you in school in English class and it's English comprehension, lyrical comprehension. Yeah. Thank for God sure. for subtitles. <laughs> <laughs> so. <Sure. laughs> uh, all right. Let's see what we got. Um. Oh, that's what there's. Was there like any type of like anxiety? When you were like watching KSI like go through the submissions, because you said, like you said, yours got picked up at the end, end. So I'm thinking like. So what happened is, shout out once again, my boy Dizzy A. He had DM me and said like, "Yo, you got in." And then at first, like I was like, "Yo, like he's not the type to like troll or clown somebody." So I'm like, "Is he like, is he messing with me?" Because mm-hmm. I'm here, I am watching like the whole. I think it was like a 22 minute video. I'm yeah. at like 21 minutes, and I'm just like. Did he cap? Like, was he just like messing? <laughs> Did I miss something? Should I go back? Like, I'm watching the whole thing, and then like I'm literally like watching him say like, "Please like and subscribe," and I'm just like, "Yo, I can't believe this this dude just like lied to me for no reason. He ain't even had to do this to me." <laughs> uh-huh. <laughs> and then like the very very last second, that's when he played my video, and I was just like, "Yo!" Like he likes. I I tweeted out like, "Yo, KSI, like you scared the the living shit out of me, bro." Like mm-hmm. I didn't. At first, I was like, "Yo, I didn't, I don't, I don't know what was going on." <laughs> Got him. I think your boy, like, like, your boy, set you up like that on purpose. He knew what happened. <laughs> yeah, nah, it, fe- it felt like that. Uh, Definitely felt no. like that. Hey, but if you go, if you gonna get set up, at least have it be like that, you know, with something good. Yeah, for sure. Um, shit. All right. So, so when you actually got picked, all right. So now, you know, you're in the top. Like, you know, mm-hmm. it's not just a challenge for you so much anymore at that point so yeah. now that you said because you said you had a a negative connotation toward uh competitions yeah but yeah, within sure. within that like but so how how was your i guess your competitive spirit and like i said that anxiety when now it's voting time like you got the polls and people are da 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 now you're in that time frame just waiting for some shit like so it definitely felt felt like a like a a win win situation because mm-hmm. although I didn't win and I was in like maybe I think like seventh place I I, I don't recall, um, I had the, the number that I paid attention to the most was how many votes I got. Yeah. And the fact that I had forty six thousand votes like yeah. at the time I, I was just about to reach about fifteen thousand followers, uh, on Instagram I, I have about three thousand followers on Twitter. And like I'm just like adding all of the numbers of all of the people that listen to me and stuff. Oh and I'm yeah. Like, yo, like I guess like my real, real, real fans like really like clicked over and over and over again. Like they really were like fighting for me to win like that. Some so, shit like, when you find out you're out there, huh? <laughs> yeah, yeah, for sure. I mean not not compared to like, you know, well, hey, hey. Within hmm? your within your realm, bro, you out there. Like people people 
hear you. Obviously, forty. You said forty-six thousand. Yeah, forty-six, forty-six thousand votes, man. That's not a small number. Votes. That's not a small. Not number. at all. So not at all. I mean, when compared to like Crips, like I think it was like I forgot how many he votes he got, but he's yeah. he's the winner. I looked at that number and was like, damn. But mm -hmm. something that did help me out, like no disrespect to to King Batch, I've never met him or anything, but um, uh, seeing that I had more votes than him only meant something to me because he has way yeah. more followers than me than everybody on that list combined. Mm -hmm. So like it just really showed and proved that like like no matter what like I'll never know the possibility of anything and, and it reminded me once again like maybe it's okay to do competitions like it's all right oh, yeah. to lose sometimes. Yeah. It's like when it comes to stuff like that, yeah, I know where uh, Batch has got all these like subscribers and da 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 like a lot a lot. Yeah. The thing is in this community, on this part of the community of uh, YouTube, this is hip hop. And yes. we know what's good. Like, we know who's da 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 da. Whereas people were trying to get on Crip's head because they're like, oh no, you're too big to be doing this challenge. Bash did it, still didn't win. Yeah. You know, it's about the, it's about the talent and your craft. And that's what you got. Like, that's exactly. what you got. So let's, let's oh, just. Thank you. Oh, hell yeah, definitely, definitely. So, um. Oh, okay, that's what I was going to ask. When when the results did hit, was there, like, a, a certain, like, level of disappointment? Was you, like, feeling a certain type of way at all when it first happened? No, because I, I, pray I, pray, I pray a lot, by the way. Um, but okay. I pray for two things leading up to that. Uh, one, I pray that I could win. I just really pray, pray that I could win it. I'd have uh -huh. the opportunity to not only change my life, but, like, to, to for that to be the uh, thing that gets the ball rolling to help me change everybody's lives around me, you know what I'm saying? Uh, and the second thing that I asked for is that if I did loss, like, please give me like the understanding and the will to just keep moving forward and just like not be affected by it negatively. And as soon as I found out, I was like, oh, and of course, you know, like it sucks to lose. So I was yeah. still like, maybe like, uh, for like a couple of hours, but, um, I feel you right after it was always just that, that first little, uh. yeah, yeah. But, but yeah, I, I immediately got back up on the horse i think i might have even recorded a verse that day like i wasn't the last time that i that i suffered like a l that big i like couldn't write for a while like i was mm -hmm. just i was a little depressed and stuff but like i didn't get like that at all because i just Cause, I, I, cause I got what i asked for <laughs> like in retrospect bro like that wasn't even really an l bro yeah like because imagine because yeah. all right so you got cool ksi going through stuff every mm -hmm. like however many subscribers he's got however many people saw that video saw you spit yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Which is crazy. Like, and then now we now we're gonna get get into it. Like, did you like? Had you known any anybody in the cipher, anybody in their crypt, any of them? Had you known of them by at any point before this the challenge hit? Only people that I knew of was uh, crypt and uh, dizzy eight and uh, and uh, six seconds. Oh, yeah, right six. before. Yeah, right before. And when I say knew of them, I meant like I've had conversations with each of them before this. As far oh, as people that I knew about, oh, yeah, yeah. No, as far as far as yeah, thank thank God, bro. But as far as people that I knew about, um, I knew I, I knew a little bit about uh, Colors of Houston only because I like seen him do like something else, but it was like really in passing. Like mm -hmm. I didn't follow up on it. And uh, uh, 100 Kufis, I, I just heard about him because of the uh, track that he did with uh, Dax and uh, Crip. Yeah, yeah, that was that was a good one. I like that one. Yeah. But that was uh, for, for No Life Shack, right? That one? Yeah, yeah, that, that's tough. Yeah. Yeah, that was a good one. That was a good one. I, I enjoy listening to that. Mm -hmm. All right. Um, So how, when all this happened, like, and the cypher was come up with, was the idea to do the cipher? Did that happen after the results had already hit, or was Crit putting that together like as soon as they were picked? Wait, I'm sorry. Can you say that one more time? Oh, when um, as far as the cipher, like Crip cipher, like yeah. how long had that been in the works? Was that like something that happened as soon as the top thirteen were picked, or was that did that happen after the results came oh, out? Oh, it happened after the results came out. Okay. And and that's and that's the thing. That was the beauty in losing because I didn't. I know, like, I, as much as I hate to say it, like, I usually try to have good ideas and do things for uh -huh. people. But if anybody else would have won, I don't think, I don't think there would be a pop and cipher. No. A no. B. Nobody had the platform mm -hmm. that Crypt has, so I can't blame anybody if they didn't do it. It's just like, what do I look like at the time? I had like what, 
nearly nearly five thousand subscribers. What I look like with five thousand subscribers and all these like dope rappers, like it probably wouldn't even get the views it deserved. So um, yeah, losing just was winning for me. <laughs> yeah, one hundred percent, one hundred percent. Because once I once I saw that was uh was a thing, I was like, oh shit, like that's that's like that's dope as hell. Like Crypt did something real good, like for the community there as far as yeah. like yo, like these motherfuckers deserved it. Like cause y'all y'all put that work in. Y'all put but that he work put in. Us to work though. He he definitely put us to work because he he said he had hit me up about it. I said yes, yeah, I'm, I'm definitely down for that, right? Then the next day he sends me the beat and says. Yeah, I need everybody to have this done in like two days. <laughs> I'm like, whoa, whoa, hold on. This is the opportunity of a lifetime. <laughs> you know, you want to put down the, you want to put down that that gritty. You want to put that that good yeah. down. Like, yeah. Yeah, man. And and honestly, I didn't even get it done until like uh maybe about five hours before the deadline was, because I, I I had so much going on and so much plan. Like, I'd be planning for stuff weeks ahead and, like, mm. sessions and things that I got to get to other people. Yeah, but yeah. I was like, nah, I'm not missing that. <laughs> no, oh, hell no. I definitely, bro. Definitely, bro. Because that's, that's, that's a, I think that's a lot of things that uh, a lot of artists or coming up artists struggle with is, like, even when you know you got the talent, even when you know, like, not even within mm -hmm. trying to boast or anything like that, but you you know you got this particular activity down. Um, I, I hope so. <laughs> yeah, yeah, <laughs> and it's point. like you just want you just want to be put in front of more eyes. You just want people to see it. Mm -hmm. So when Crip gave an opportunity like that, like I could like even even not being picked for the KSI thing, like no, nah, like this is still this is like y'all did y'all yeah. did the damn thing. Y'all did the damn yeah, thing. Yeah, man. Not only to even say you said you said you rap before, right? Or you rap? Yeah, yeah, I, yeah. I ain't putting on like 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 how y'all putting stuff out. I ain't done that yet, but yeah. Well, I mean, still, I was I was asking because um, you know how hard it is to not only memorize your lyrics for the studio, but mm -hmm. memorize your lyrics to the point where you're going to be able to perform it. Yes. And the most important kind of performance is recorded performances. Mm -hmm. So he he gave us like two days to do the verse, and then like another day, I had to end up asking him for an extra day to get him the video too, uh -huh. because I knew I could not remember all of those lyrics that fast. Like. Mm -hmm. Man, he definitely that dude is motivational. Real quick, uh, just because you said that, because I I I go through stuff like, what did you do to memorize? Like you just just like going over it again and again and again, just rapping it over and over and over. Like, um, I I did that, but here's here's a trick. I actually mm -hmm. haven't talked to anybody about this yet, so hopefully anybody who's a loyal subscriber to you or loyal to me and checks this video out, uh, this is the gem that I'm dropping for y'all specifically. Pay attention. If you can, <laughs> if you can. If you have a program, whatever song, if you recorded your verse, halftime it or slow it down so you can follow each part and follow each part. Because once you learn how to how to say a verse as a rapper, you know how to say it faster and faster and faster because you have it memorized by that point. You know what I'm saying? No, nah, yeah, so, um, 100%. But halftiming it also led me to... Um, that video effect. Yeah, yeah, and let me <laughs> record and get in halftime because I'm like, screw it, I think that's gonna be dope. Yeah. No, that was dope as hell because when I first saw it, I was like, hold on, the video sped up, but he's it's on it's on point, like it's on point with the words <laughs> and shit. That was like that was a dope ass thing because um in your when you did your reaction to it, you were talking about how you edited it all yourself. Yeah, yeah. Like that was a dope ass edit job. Um, shout out, shout out to my fiance for uh you know doing she she I directed it or indirected her, but she's the one that uh helped me with like turning the camera left and right and stuff and like. You know, cer she was certain your, things. She yeah, was your she was a camera woman. Yes, yes. <laughs> uh, yeah, she and she did good, especially with how like the beat ticks, like how she was yeah. like, hitting it. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, like she was like she was things yeah. I didn't even ask her to do. The part exactly. when I'm like oh, she was uh, killing it. stop when I'm in a minute not and then and then and not. She was like moving it like like I'm just like oh snap. I'm smiling like while she's recording because I realized what she's doing. I'm like oh, oh yeah. this is gonna be dope. Like yeah, love that I, one. <laughs> I got yeah. She was. She was doing a thing. I, that's that was part of the whole thing, as far as like the visual aesthetic to it is like. Mm -hmm. um, I think. Well, it's funny because there's a thing in break dancing. Um, I think it's called it's called beat mashing. It's where uh -huh. like you do these the hits like to the beat and like yeah. the same thing with the camera movements hit into the way that you're doing it and the way that uh -huh. the effects were with the the speeding up as far as the song. It was like mm -hmm. it was it was just very well done as far as what I saw visually that came out on yeah. that cypress. Like you probably had the best visual. Thank you. Thank like, you very I, much. I, I honestly think you had the, the best visual. I think you did with the bandana and stuff. That was dope. That was dope. Yo, another funny story. I have this bandana here, um, which is red and blue. Uh -huh. So for that line, I was going to like go like this, 
and then go like that, like with the blood and crypt line, right? Yeah. But I had left this at her mom's house. Uh, so the only thing that I had was a green bandana, and I'm like, uh, no, 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 I know what happened. Uh, before I even thought about the green bandana, I'm like, I'm going to have to, like, just take a bandana and, like, slowly edit that. For, uh, for it to change colors. Mm -hmm. And that's when my fiance, once again, being super helpful, said, why not use your green bandana so it's like green screen? And I'm like, yes, ben, perfect. Does she do film stuff? <laughs> Yo, she's been with me for like four years, so I think she's like picked up on a lot of different things that I've okay. done. And also she's working on like a music video for me okay. right now. Uh, so like, yeah, I think, I think she's definitely got a lot of knowledge and sometimes is very helpful to me. Especially when they hit you with those lines where you're just like, why didn't I think of that? Yes. <laughs> yes exactly. exactly. <laughs> um, but how did you how did you find out where like where you were gonna record at? Because you said you had to like have the whole thing done, the verse and the video, all that done like within like three days or two days. For some reason, that just came to me like immediately. Yeah, you yeah, know that that came to me like immediately. I just uh, the day of, I was like, all right, we're gonna go out to shoot it. I want to do it outside. That's all I knew. And maybe about an hour before I left the house, I'm like, oh, I know exactly where I want to go. So once again, super help, helpful fiance. I get where I want to go, right? It's it's more so of an open parking lot. There's no, like, ceiling and the poles and stuff that you saw in the actual video. Uh -huh. But she said, why not do it under there since there's no cars there? It'll look like a, like a dope garage or something. And I'm like, why didn't I think of that once again? Like, still helping me till this day. <laughs> Bro, that's dope. This had to be just one, one hell of an experience to to have and be a part of um, yeah do you uh do you keep in contact with anybody from the challenge right now uh yeah yeah i have a couple of tracks coming out with uh a couple of different people I already oh. said it on my story um i know dizzy's supposed to be getting back to me with a hook for this beat that he showed me the other day that one is going to be a banger uh i know leo has this song completely done he's just waiting on me to get him the verse oh, leo. uh leo yeah, which Leo, he he was definitely like I think in my top like three on the uh, cipher. Uh huh. So like, <laughs> I, that kid is amazing, yo. Anytime that I think about him, it's just like I I see so much of myself in him as far as like drive and hunger. But the thing oh, is, yeah. he's like almost on my level at thirteen. So oh, it's yeah, like when, it's ridiculous. Yeah, when he gets he's, up when there he in age, age. It's over. It's yeah, over for everybody. He's gonna be doing stuff. Yeah. He's gonna be doing stuff. Well, speaking and of, I got a track of Bilzar coming up. My bad. Bil Bilzar? Yeah, yeah. That's the dude in Ink. Wait. The uh, dude who he had a British accent. He was in the dark. Okay, yeah, British accent. Yeah, right, cool, balls cool, on cool. balls on balls on yeah, balls. Yeah, just yeah, starting yeah, to yeah. look like. All yeah. Right. I was like, that was the English because I remember when I saw when I saw his part, like it, it had me bouncing. I was like, hey, hey. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah um, bro, you got a tricky flow. <laughs> I like that. I like that. Um, what did you think of some of the other artists? Like what? Who was one of them? Gatsby, like that dude, like I thought he got oh, down. Yo. Yeah, yo, he killed it. Me and Gatsby have some well, I can't say we have something coming out, but we've talked talked about it. Like eventually okay. a track gonna come out with us too. Hopefully I get a track with everybody that individually. Would be, no, you know, that would be awesome. Be like it because I wanna like, I wanna get a chance to talk to all y'all. You're just the first one I reached out to. Like whoever responds, I'm gonna try to talk to because like I, mm -hmm. I just wanted to talk to see about like how that experience was or something like that because like that's gotta be something else especially for artists trying to come up and like get in front of eyes like that's that yeah like that was amazing yeah Bro. most definitely sorry if you hear like knocking in the background i don't know what my neighbor's doing no it's all good <laughs> if you hear a baby back here that's because my girlfriend's taking care of that stuff <laughs> <laughs> we all got stuff going on we got we got lives to live corona <laughs> yeah for sure, <laughs> for sure. <laughs> Oh man, but yeah, with all that going on and the uh, the crib stuff, I wanted to get into some of your more personal things. Oh yeah, that's what mm -hmm. I was talking about earlier. Proposal video that was dope. That was dope though. Let's talk about the pro proposal video. Let's talk about <laughs> that for a minute. Um, okay. How, how did how did you, how did you orchestrate that? Get that going. Man, it took a lot of belief. It was the most stressful day of my life. I, um, I had planned it. And I was planning like, all right, we can't do it if it rains because mm -hmm. if it rains, the uh, the uh, what's the name? The lanterns, you know, I'm I'm an earthhead, so the lanterns have to be biodegradable. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So there's like no waste left over and stuff. So I got that, but the only bad part about that is if the rain hits it, it starts disintegrating. Mm -hmm. So that day was raining literally all day, and it was in the morning time. It was planned to rain all day. Another time where I was praying all day. 
and I got to a point where um, I told everybody we were, we were going to do it at like 6 or 7 o'clock, right? Yeah. I prayed from like 9 a.m. until like about 2. And immediately, I'm looking at the forecast consistently. It just said no more rain. Like, it's just who knows where it went. Like, it just, it just stopped raining. Not, so right. there was that. Uh, but as far as, like, the planning with everybody else, I had to create a group chat. I had to ask mad people. My girlfriend, for some reason, never watches my story. So <laughs> I just put in my story, yo, anybody who want to help me help me and be part of, like, a huge thing for me, like, reach out to me. And then, mm-hmm. like, created a group chat based off of that. I had uh, got a friend that I, I went to high school with. She graduated a little before me. But um, I got her and, and her friend to... Uh, play the guitar and the violin of a song that I had wrote for her two years ago. Okay. So they came okay. out, and she's just like, uh, sorry, are we, like, in your way? She doesn't understand what's going on. <laughs> I'm not sorry, are we in your way, yeah. <laughs> and she's like, what do you think they're doing here? Because they're not talking to us, they're not trying to ruin anything. Um, and I'm like, they're probably, like, here to practice or something. Let's just do this and, you know, get out of their way after. And she's, like, like saying, oh, should we move over there? So... My this dude that she's met before, who was a cameraman, comes out of nowhere, and he I didn't expect him to pull up that fast. You know what I'm saying? I thought <laughs> I was gonna have to like tell him to like shoot him away or something. Uh-huh. And I'm like texting him and stuff like right before we're about to light it, like to get him there on time. He almost like went the opposite direction on the wrong side <laughs> of the park. <laughs> but um, he finally gets there, and I'm like, oh hey, what's up? Uh, I told her I said that uh, he has always wanted to like take pictures of uh lanterns mm-hmm. of, of of those kind of lanterns uh and she's like oh okay he can do that yeah sure she still doesn't know what's going Dang, on so my, got my other boy <laughs> <laughs> my other boy who's coming to take pictures because he was doing a video comes through and she's like oh julian what's up and she's like she, she for some reason she didn't see him in like there at all like he was just uh-huh. not even incognito i'm just so surprised she didn't know what was going on until i said hey do you not recognize the song that they're playing and then after a while, she's like, oh, my gosh. And then she realized what's going on and oh, stuff. Man. And then I proposed and stuff. But it was – I was just so lucky that she was not on it that day. <laughs> <laughs> hey, man, that was, that was beautiful. That was, that was awesome, though. That's, got, that's something else. That's something else. Once again, congrats, though. Congrats, Thank though. You. That was a good one. What we got here? So I got my, my, my list of questions next to me. It's <laughs> cool. Cool, get to them. <laughs> um, I, I want to talk to you about some of your personal music too. Just a, just a few of them. Okay. Um, I saw this one, but now, yeah, <laughs> I wanted to get in with you about this track. It came out December fourteenth last year, seventy five thousand mm-hmm. with Felicia George and Euphony. I feel like America don't care about black women. Seventy five thousand missing. Sex traffic, organ traffic, this shit tragic. In it don't cost to pay attention. Look. Yeah, the, uh, that track literally started off as the beat, and when I made that beat, I was like, yo, this sounds like an absolute banger, like it cannot fail, and then I got to writing, and I was like, what am I going to write about, because I had such high hopes for the beat already, I'm like, yo, whatever I write on this, it's got to be important, because I feel like a lot of people are going to hear this, mm-hmm. so uh, I just literally started off saying, like, yo, what if I did like a catchy like trap sound and hook? But like talked about something serious. Yeah. And that's when I know that I feel like America don't care about black women. Oh uh, yeah. Oh like, no. Yeah, that uh, I that, I love that, but I, the video was dope too. That was the uh Oh the uh lyric video? Yeah. Damn. Did you do that? Yes. Shit, dude. <laughs> <laughs> that was like, cause I did a I did a reaction uh before to uh that uh the uh, I forget his name. The cartoon Godzilla video. Mm, yeah. Yeah, and like they had little lyrics things, and I was talking about how much I love that aspect when people do that in their videos. And I saw that mm. I was like, I was me like, ooh, that's dope. Uh, like dope. Yeah. you do, you do good stuff like lyrically with your editing videos. Even when you got your girl Thank on the camera, like the, every aspect of the of the project, the way you're doing it is dope. And I really like that about the stuff that you that you you be making. I appreciate that. But um. Yeah, what what drove that 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 topic for you when you were trying to come up with uh, something and talk about something serious? Like, I just realized there was a lot of uh, a lot of uh, black women going missing in general, 
and how people just weren't really talking about it. Mm-hmm. And I know it's like I, I don't usually – I'm not one of those people who be like, I don't see color. Like, I definitely – I understand I'm black. <laughs> Mm-hmm. And I, I'm proud of being black, but um, I don't talk about race that much, or I try to like stay away from it because music's supposed to be universal. Yeah, yeah. But this is a very important topic that nobody is really giving light to, and I want all of my African American women out there, or women of color out there, to be to to realize like, yo, y'all gotta be safe and be precautious. Not to say that if they are uh, stolen, that it's their fault. You know, mm-hmm. it's whoever's intentions fault, but. We need to take safety precautions as a community to, to, to protect our women. So, you know, I just want to do that. And I also gave a message out there to, to, to white people. Like, if you got black friends who uh, – black friends who happen to be women, you know, yeah, tell yeah. this to them too. Like, make sure that they get home safe. Give them a ride instead of getting them an Uber and stuff, you know. So, yeah, that was just my whole purpose. That I, I planned on shooting a video and then coronavirus. <laughs> yeah, that uh... – <laughs> That just stopped everything and everyone from happening. But yeah, um, mm-hmm. do you plan on making a video like when this passes? Are you gonna do one or? Yeah, I mean, shoot. I, hopefully, I can get the uh, get the the funding and, and whatnot. I really want to take that song to another level. Okay. All right. Yeah. No. That's I I, I liked it because I like that's why I want that's why I had Juan talk to you about because the message and I was like, okay, he's spitting some real. <laughs> Thank you. Some real. All right. Um. All right, bro. Now I need that February nineteenth, twenty eighteen. OMG. It's that homie that be killing everything from raps down to production. Can't back down. I'm constructive and black out. Get the duck and I lash out over nothing. I'm sick. <clears throat> I'm bugging. I need a doctor or something. My head's hot. Going up in those ass pop, but I'm stumbling. Bro, that. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that the one had the nineties vibe. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> like, well, I know, I know. For uh, what, what was it now? Two, two years ago. Yeah, yeah. For some reason, when you said February, I was confused, and I was like, "Wait, what? I didn't drop that this year." But then I heard, I I reheard you in my head and said, "Oh, 2018." Yeah. Season, I was confused. <laughs> what was the inspiration behind that one? Because that one, that one was interesting. That, but I liked that one. I was thoroughly entertained. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, I guess. I don't know. I just wanted to make people dance again, like in music. I wanted people to like want to move and stuff. Like, I feel, no, I there's feel not. You. Yeah, there's there's not much music that make people want to like get up and move, mm-hmm. you know. So that's what I was trying to do with that. I sure. I mean, I miss like Missy Elliott. Like, yeah. Gosh, fool, man. But nah, I seen that. I was like, oh snap, what's going on? We got everybody in here. They look like a Fresh Prince of House party going on. Let's go. <laughs> 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 I was liking that shit though. Mm. That shit was getting me. Let me uh, what we got over here? Oh yeah, this is what I want to hit you with. Yo, I looked on your profile and I saw the, the, cause you were just talking about dancing, that pump it up challenge. No, it was hard to wait, but somebody from the guard of state is running it. While these other niggas jog in place and all of it's great. I'm nice, like Cardi shape. They see my spot here like Playboy Cardi's face. Sorry, wait. Yeah, yeah. What was that about? Cause like when I was in high school and stuff, like I used to dance a lot, like crumping, breaking, popping. Like, so like, what's, what's that about? Talk, talk to me. All right, so that's literally all it all it is about. Like anytime, not anytime or every time, but a lot of the time when I make a record, I try to recapture a feeling. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? Yeah. So Pump It Up is just definitely one of those records that's like crazy hard. And I made funny story. I made that beat like about maybe four or five years ago, right? Mm-hmm. And then a couple of months to a year later, after I made the beat, uh, I had met Joe Button apparently homie like lived in my town and i didn't even know oh, it like, <laughs> wow so what happened was i had a show called the clear concert right okay uh called the clear concert because i'm from montclair which we call the clear mm-hmm. um i was a hustler bro i was going door to door trying to sell them tickets because hey. this is like my first big concert at a big theater yeah, yeah. so uh his neighbor outed him i tried to sell tickets he said nah but you know who might be interested my um my neighbor is joe button and it's so funny. Shout out to shout out to uh Brand, Brandon and uh and uh Rye guy. uh, because they might see this one day and be like ah, but um, <laughs> so I put um I had put my album with a business card in the mailbox, uh, uh-huh. in hopes that Joe Button or whoever would see it, but. <laughs> 
I told them, oh, I was just promoting a show. I didn't know. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> At the time. <laughs> because his neighbor outed him. But Yeah, no, I feel you. Hey, nigga, it's a slip, hey. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So I did that. They got it. They gave me a call. They said, yo, do you know whose house this is? I'm like, nah, I was just trying to promote a show. And they said, all right, uh, how long have you been making music? Like, this album is pretty good and stuff. Come over uh, at uh, come come over Sunday, and this was like during Ramadan. By the way, I'm Muslim. If y'all ain't know about a cipher, um, so he said, uh, "Come over, uh, come come over Sunday," and I'm like, "Okay." He said, "Yeah, we're gonna be having a cookout." I said, "I'm not gonna be able to eat around that time, but I'm still trying to come through because I respect y'all. You know, inviting me out." He still didn't tell me that it was Joe Button's house, so uh-huh. I'm also like wondering, like, damn, is somebody capping? Like. Am I about to get set up? Are they about to be like? Are they about to jump me for like leaving stuff in his mobile? <laughs> like, <laughs> <so, laughs> He's like a suspect, but I don't want to say no. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So as I said, like five minutes from my house, and I can say this now because he uh he moved, and I, I would never for any celebrities out here that's watching this, I would never disclose any information like that out usually. Otherwise, TMZ would have been on his ass. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, <laughs> but nah, I took that five minute walk. And I'm walking down the uh, the driveway, and I just <laughs> I see the back of a neck that like this sounds crazy. Pause. But I see the back <laughs> of a neck of this dude who I just I know who it is instantly from the back of his neck and his head because I'm like yo nobody has like like that like strong like neck up going up to a bald head with <laughs> tattoos like <laughs> like, no, like I seen that before. <laughs> yeah, I seen that. Um, and this is around the time he was on Everyday Struggle, so I was hyped. You know, but I already been like a fan of like Joe Button's music before then. But it's like, yo, this dude has like a lot of clout right now. Like he actually can really help me out. So um, I walk around and I see Joe Button and I'm like, yo, what's up, bro? So I'm just like, I'm like trying my best not to tease. I'm trying to like play it cool, but I'm also just like, mm-hmm. so instead of like teasing and like looking around like this or like being like straight face, I'm just like. <laughs> 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 Got this like dumbass look on my face. I don't want to so, look weird, so I'm gonna look weird. <laughs> yeah, yeah, pretty much. So I'm sitting here with Joe Budden, Sin, his uh, well, ex fiance, mm-hmm. uh, two other friends of his, uh, uh, Brandon from uh, the Grassroots podcast, and uh, Rye Guy, his pretty much his right hand man. And um, I'm just sitting there like in my head, like holy, shit. like I'm like at a table with these people who are like famous, you know? Yeah. Um, so, like, Joe allowed me to play, like, some of my stuff that I had coming out for him. Okay. And one thing that he said that absolutely stuck with me, he said, yo, I really love, like, your music. But he said, like, is there any pain? Like, is there any thing that you haven't talked about? Like, and I, like, I, I gave him, like, a little hint towards, like, my, my uh, relationship with my father at the time, which wasn't the best. Mm-hmm. And he, uh, he said, like, why haven't you, like, talked about that? Like, stuff that people can relate to. And I'm just like, dang, like, that was a hell of a gem to drop on me, right? Uh-huh. So yeah. um, let me hurry up with this story. I realize I'm going on and on hey, about bro, it. Hey, bro, this is your time. <laughs> Go for it. That's what we're here for. We're going to hear you say some stuff. <laughs> for sure. Um, So after that experience, which, by the way, another random thought, Sin is a really beautiful woman. She, uh, and this is no disrespect to Joe, although she's not with her anymore, like, no disrespect. I wasn't thinking anything crazy. But she didn't have any makeup on. And she, like, was just, like, chilling, like, it's her house, so, you know, she was just chilling. Yeah, and I'm yeah. just thinking, like, like wow, that was another thing that was inspirational. Because I'm like, yo, this dude, like, lives in this amazing house, has a rap career that he's already over with. He's moving on to other things business-wise. He has a beautiful fiance, mm-hmm. got, like, a pool in the back. Like, it, it, that whole situation was just so inspirational. He don't even know what that, like, did for me. So, um... It's like looking into your future. Shoot, God willing. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But, um... Yeah, so anyhow, after that, uh, I had saw his son uh, at a show and connected with him because he did this song about, ironically, his father that was like coming from the standpoint that I was coming from as far as like wanting to connect with your father and not having that and stuff at a certain time in your life. So, um... They 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 good now like me and my father good now. I I was saying that um who better to do this the uh, pump it up rendition mm-hmm. with then his son, you know. Yeah. So um that's how that came about and yeah that was a long ass story. I apologize. I'm gonna keep it 100 <laughs> percent real with you. Somewhere along mm-hmm. that story, I forgot that I asked about the pump it up challenge. 
but I was so <laughs> I was so into what the hell you was telling me. I was just listening. I was like, okay. And then you said that's how to pump it. I was like, oh yeah, oh yeah, <laughs> that too. <laughs> My bad, yo. <laughs> nah, it's uh, it's it's all good, bro. Cause I want to like, oh shit, I'm not even gonna lie, man. I didn't, I didn't even think I was ever gonna get a chance to talk to like any of y'all. I still don't know if you're if if I'm gonna be able to talk to any of the others. Like I'm glad I can't you... I can't make them do anything, but no, no, I'll definitely no, no. tell them like, yo, you. check check on me out. I feel you. I feel you. But um, it's been dope, bro. I just wanted to have you on here mainly to talk about the pop and challenge. I know we went mm -hmm. we went off, but I wanted to get to know like you aside from the pop and challenge, like what what you got going on, things like that. And you said you had stuff possibly coming out with some of the other members. Give people like you know something to look forward to and things like that, bro, bro. All right. Well, shoot. When are you dropping this? Uh, me. Latest tomorrow. I was gonna send. I was gonna send it to you before like I put it out. I'm going. I'm going to leave like a halfway of a hint of something. Okay. There's another, and you can't, you can't, you can't guess it. Let the comments talk about it. Okay. 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 I'll let the comments do what they do. There's another cipher coming out, but I can't say who. Okay. That's going to be huge. That I'm going to be on. Okay. And uh, that that's coming out, and I also have a single coming out. Uh, May 9th and I feel like it's like my best song I've ever I, I will I, I have ever put out so far. You said it was you said May 9th? Yeah. Y'all heard that? P game, don't sleep. Yeah. Don't sleep. For sure. What the hell? <laughs> I think that was my Facebook. My bad. <laughs> mm -hmm. Went clean the hell uh, off just now. But um yeah, no, nah, bro, bro, we like we are we I and we my subscribers, we appreciate you coming on and uh Talking about what's going on with you and the things you got going on in the pop and cipher and letting us giving us that little tip bit. You got a little another yeah. more action coming out. We appreciate sure. that, man. We appreciate that. Yo, you got it, bro. And I'm 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 gonna be uh I'm gonna try to get more and more into the YouTube world myself. Uh huh. Uh, I'm probably gonna gonna have another video coming out two days from now or so, and I'll be sure to like direct people to the video at the end. You know, just to you know just show some love, bro, because I really uh appreciate the love that you show. Oh, I, I appreciate that. I appreciate that. Yeah, man, the reactions definitely give you an avenue to to talk about some stuff that otherwise, because honestly, like I've listened to a lot of music on YouTube where my friends have been around me and we've just been talking and mm -hmm. now it's just a camera in front of me and I just talk, try to talk to it like, well, one, I got a lot of energy, but <laughs> just like it's a, <laughs> just like it's a friend there just talking and chilling. You know what I mean? It's a, it's a good thing. When I saw yours out there and you were talking about putting yourself on YouTube in a way that um, you're not necessarily familiar with. Mm -hmm. And I was like, there you go, because I know what that feels like. I don't yeah. know, it feels like cause I, before all my reaction videos, there was like some, like th two, three little music videos that I had made before I actually found what I was trying to do regularly on YouTube. I still want to put music out, um, but I do like doing my reactions. But yes, I got I got songs and stuff that I, I, I want to put out. I just don't know the avenue or how I want to do it or what kind of video I'm going to do yet. So, Well, shoot, I'm down to listen, and there's not many video opportunities uh in, in the midst of all of this stuff going on. Just, that's, that's, very, that's very true. There's going to be a lot of home videos. A lot of home yep. videos. Mm -hmm. But um, yeah, yeah, nah, definitely, man. Thank you, man. We got Samaj Savage. He came in and told us what was going on. Hey. All right, guys. And I I appreciate Be sure you guys like, subscribe. Be sure you guys like, subscribe. Check out Samaj. And he he got his thing going on. I got my thing going on over here. Make sure you, 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 you do your thing over there, all right? All right. Peace. Screw with it! You ain't never seen nobody like I Turn it to the side, I'ma leave a flat line Interracial gang bang, black guys with nines Listen at your face, black eyes When I let a punchline hit I can speak blood talk like I bit my lip I can speak Snoop Dogg to a song with crip No gangs, but I'm popping from my clicks Now I know they like it when I switch I'm Nintendo with a Caitlyn chick And I lay with chicks and I'm blazing with my nays And wait, I'm saying it's like a flaming week Blow me, I'm not to be on and you roasting I'm slowly promoting my motion and oceans I'm only supporting the mic that I'm holding I might kill the pins when I strike what is rolling Six seconds in, clip empty, Gatsby, put several rappers in a frenzy See the first eight, made them feel a little dizzy Over 90 people, they get a dick who fit me I'm cold, they bore jam, officially crept my brother with the color of my skin G Me and two big things, and we had a kick piece Sleep on mines and I let him in a quickly Look, you with a batch of the dead, don't tip me You don't wanna see me when I'm moody, cover face like a Sunni I see Axel, I'm a lake, I'm putting pieces to a goofy And I swear to my Umi, if you ever try to shoot me, you gon' see a hundred goofies And it's poppin', I'm a ramen down and I'm been starving Kelly Clarkson, I'm already gone, it's a sergeant Hold up, let me park it like stops I'm a savage in a slot, I'm a static, but I pop like a hundred thousand watts I'ma leave him on the shot, could I be without a job? I don't really need a pose, I'ma make it to the top <laughs> And I do not mean no disrespect when I say this either I will ask next time, keep a K inside for the fucking feature